Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can add widgets to your home screen on your LG Stylo 6. So the first thing what you wanna do is long press on the display. So you're gonna go ahead and long press on the display. You'll feel a short vibration, go ahead and let go. And then to the bottom here, you're gonna see the option for widgets. Go ahead and click on widgets. Now, once you do that, you're gonna be able to see all the available widgets on your Stylo 6. And they are in different categories. So for instance, you got app trash, calendar, Chrome, clock, contacts, etc. And then you can go ahead and swipe through the different windows and you're gonna see additional widgets that you have available on your Stylo 6. Now, with some of these widgets here, once you click on it, it's gonna show you two options or even more. So for instance, if I click on Chrome, it's gonna go ahead and share or show me two different Chrome widgets that are available. Chrome bookmarks three by two, Chrome search, which is the search bar four by one. And that's going to be the same thing for calendar as well. So you have different sizes and it's kind of a different layout between the two types of widgets. So you'll notice that on some of these um, little folders for your widgets here. Now say for instance, you want to add a widget to your home screen. Now what you wanna do is choose the widget that you want or choose the window there. And then say for instance, if two of these show up, you're gonna long press on the one that you want to be displayed on your home screen. So I'm gonna choose this one here. I'm gonna long press on it and it's gonna bring me to my home screen now. And I can actually choose where I want to place this if I want it on this page here, or I can also move it over and add it to a brand new page on the home screen. So I'll go ahead and bring it over here and then I'm gonna place it right there. So as you can see, I just added my calendar widget to my home screen. All right, so I'll go ahead and add an additional widget just kind of share with you again. So I'm gonna go ahead and long press on the display. I'm gonna go ahead and choose widgets. And this time I'll go ahead and choose Netflix here. So I'm gonna go with the Netflix four by four. I'm gonna go ahead and long press on that. And as you can see right here in on this page, it's not going to fit, there's not enough space. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over to the next page. And then I'll go ahead and just place it right there. Now what's cool about these widgets is the fact that you can resize them. So if you long press on the widget, you can actually make these widgets shorter, you can make them longer, you can make them wider. So if you want to fit additional widgets, you can kind of shrink these widgets uh, down. Not all of them, but some of them will be able to be resized. And then if you want, you can go ahead and drag this widget over and you should be able to make it fit right there as you can see. So as you can see, you can kind of play around with your home screen here and you can kind of shrink these down to size, make these widgets fit, and you can go ahead and add some additional widgets also. So say for instance, I wanna add a smart cleaning widget. I can add that one there and I'll go ahead and just do one more. Let's go ahead and add YouTube music add that right there and bam you can see how everything is looking now and you can actually interact with these widgets as well so as you can see here pretty cool i also want to share with you really quick if you want to delete a widget the only thing you have to do is long press on the widget and then drag it up top where it says remove and there's a trash can there drag it all the way up on top and just like that you can remove a widget from your home screen all right, everybody, that's pretty much it for this video. If you found it helpful and informative in any way possible, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more helpful, quick tutorial videos just like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.